Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you how to design a triangle wave that is modeled after uh, one of the oscillators in the Nintendo Entertainment System. So the resulting waveform is going to look something like the uh, chart I have on the right here. So it's very similar to a regular triangle wave, but it has a lot of extra harmonics. Okay, so let's begin with a new project. And the way I designed this oscillator was to stack pulse waves on top of each other. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a single pulse width module. And I'm going to use all of the voices in the module and add them together. And we're going to have a total of 15 pulse waves. So I'm going to change the number of voices in the instrument to 15. And then we can get 15 distinct waves out of this single module. Um, we're going to supply it with a note pitch, and I'm going to use the gate to um, sync the waveform, and I'll also use it to run a envelope that's going to control the amplitude. I'm just going to use a basic AR envelope here to prevent clicks on uh, a new note or uh, on a note release. All right, and this whole area can be monophonic, which means that whenever we play a note, um, we're going to trigger all 15 of the uh, sawtooth waves to, or sorry, the square waves to have the incoming pitch and gate. And so if all 15 of the waves are identical, obviously we're not going to really be able to do anything very interesting with them. So the one thing that we're going to use to differentiate them is to change the phase of each um, pulse wave. And an easy way to do that is to use the voice info module. And the V output here is going to have a value equal to our voice number. So it's going to be um, a value from 1 to 15. I'm going to subtract one from that, so we'll have coming out of this subtraction, um, it'll range from 0 to 14. And I'm going to divide that by the total number of voices, or I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal, but it's basically the same mathematical operation. So this area of the structure is going to be polyphonic and um, we're, all the areas are the same except for the V output of the voice module is different for each voice. So these are just going to give us a phase ranging from 0 to 1, or a little bit less than 1 actually, but almost 1. And this is our 15 um, pulse waves. The last thing I want to do is control the amplitude. Um, we need to cut it back by quite a bit because we're adding 15 waves together and it's just going to get pretty loud. So I'm just going to create an amplitude knob and give it a maximum value of around 0.1. All right, so we have our 15 waves with identical pitch, identical sync time, and identical amplitude, and different phases. And in order to make sure this is working properly, we can create a really quick um, scope macro. It's going to take a pitch and a single waveform. Um, instead of running these 15 sawtooths in though, or pulse waves in, I'm going to um, use an audio voice combiner. So what that's going to do is it's going to take all 15 voices and just add them together, mix them together. And that's going to be our triangle wave. 
Um, in order to create the scope, I'm going to translate the pitch, our incoming pitch, to a frequency value and use that to run a ramp oscillator. So this ramp oscillator is going to run at the same speed as our pulse waves. Uh, we're going to have an amplitude of 1, and it's going to sync to the same incoming gate values as our other oscillator as well. And we're going to use it to control an XY module, the X input. And the Y input is going to be controlled by our waveform. And we want to change a bunch of things in the XY um, module. I'm going to create, make it mono. I'm going to make it always active. Um, we need to change the negative Y value, or the minimum Y value, to negative 1. Um, we want to turn off the label and the value and the cursor. And we want to turn the object type to scope. And I think that should work just fine. All right, so a while back I was kind of working on making this oscillator in core using a bunch of substantially more complicated methods and I found that the sound quality of that project was not really any better than what I'm achieving with this and it was just a lot more work and it was a lot more CPU hungry so I think this is probably the way to go for trying to mimic the uh, NES triangle oscillators once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please check out our website, and I'll be back next week with a new Reactor tutorial.